Well, Mid-State Family says this woman you see behind me could be alive today if it weren't for a 911 dispatcher's mistake. Now her family is speaking only to News 4's Kim St. Ange, who spent months requesting records. The story got so much response and attention. We wanted to air it again for you. Take a look. Here's why last June a 911 call was made about a fire at this home. Linda Courtley was trapped inside, but our investigation found dispatchers were sent here four miles away to the wrong house. I have her, have her next to me. Steve Courtley just can't say goodbye. Every night I kiss her. Every night I tell her good night. Knowing how he lost his wife of 34 years. I truly believe that she'd still be alive today. If they'd gotten the right after. Yes if they got here when the alarm go off. They are the firefighters who were sent to 113 Harsh Lane in Castellian Springs last June. Now we're one location of your emergency. There's just one major problem about being sent to 113 Harsh Lane. The Courtley House is at 1113 Harsh Lane. The mistake caught in the call itself. What's the address? 1113 Harsh Lane. I'm sorry, you said 113 Harsh Lane? Yes. Do you blame the 911 dispatcher? Uh, yes. Well, it's a combination of a security company and a 9. Well, basically, the 911 because they don't, they don't follow up uh, good enough. The Sumner County Emergency Communication Center's internal investigation shows when firefighters were dispatched to the wrong house, the fire unit returned to the fire hall. Two hours later, a second 911 call, this time from Linda's nephew. No, we just got back and full of smoke. And then she burnt. We gave her CPR and we did get pulsed. But Linda didn't make it. Hmm. There was no reason they shouldn't have got here. But they didn't get here until 11, 11.29. Records from the Sumner County ECC show the dispatcher, Elena Restivo, violated policy by failing to verify the address a second time. She was suspended and retrained. We found she's back on the job tonight. And when you told me that that girl just got disciplinary action and Linda lost her life, if it had been me, I would have been fired and sued. According to the ECC's attorney, not only is Restivo still working, she got promoted and is now training supervisor. Courtley says this mistake cost him his wife. I was lucky enough to have her. I mean, that's all I can say. Again, that was Kim St. Ange reporting. You can feel free to share that story just by going to our website, WSMV.com, or on our News 4 app.